Cleaner found a loophole in the bank. She carried a bag of bills in the garbage gun every day. Six months went by, and the cash were piling up all over the house. Mary, a housewife, was living a life of luxury, but then she found out at a friend's party that her husband Jack had lost his job. He owed people a lot of money and was going to sell the house. Mary had to find a job to make ends meet, but she was no longer young and had been out of touch with society for a long time. She was repeatedly rejected by interviewers. She didn't find a job for a long time. Finally, she was introduced to a bank as a cleaner by her nanny. When she walked into the bank, Mary was shocked by the amount of money in front of her. She had never seen so much money in her life. All the old banknotes from all over the country were sent here to be destroyed. She felt it a great pity. Every day, she could only watch the destruction of the cash with sad eyes. One day the faucet at home broke and she went to the supermarket to buy a new one. She accidentally found a lock, exactly like the one on the bank safe. So she had an idea. From then on, she began to pay attention to the process of cash transshipment. She made a map of the routes and a plan to steal the money. But she needed more help. She knew she couldn't do it alone. So she started looking for a partner inside the bank. The administrator was her first target. She kept hinting to the caretaker, but he never responded. He didn't know what Mary was up to. So Mary took him off the list. Then the second target was Lucy, who was in charge of destroying the cash. She was a mother of two, and Mary couldn't convince her. She put a couple of flyers for the top schools in Lucy's locker. Lucy agreed after some hesitation. Finally she found Wendy, who was in charge of garbage disposal. She was sick and needed money. When Mary and the others told her, Wendy agreed without hesitation. They made a gesture and were ready to move. Cleaner changed the lock on the bank's cash box while cleaning. Then she gave Wendy the number of the cash box. She took the cash out and dropped some of it in a trash can out of sight of the cameras. After Lucy changed the lock back, Mary went to recycle the bag of garbage. After getting the money, they ran to the toilet and hid the large amount of money in their underwear. After getting through security, they made it home. While they were celebrating, Jack showed up. Knowing Mary's plan to steal the money, he advised her to stop, but Mary didn't care. Since the codes of the bills were destroyed, she thought no one would ever find out about it. Seeing that his wife could get so much cash, Jack agreed with her behavior and even joined her team. After a few operations, they became more skillful. They used the same tactics to get money every time. By six months, they had money piled up all over the house. They were going to stop, but Mary still didn't feel satisfied because the money they stole couldn't be used for big expenses. They can't change their living habits or the police will find them. Lucy and Mary had an argument. One day, Mary went on stealing money without notice, but she accidentally threw the key to the lock down the drain. Although, they finally solved the problem of the key. Tom, the bank security guard, found out about their plan, but this is not a problem for them because Tom likes Lucy. He joined them for Lucy's future, and Lucy finds a new love. Once again, their plan went smoothly. Mary got herself a new house. The others got what they wanted, but a cleaner suddenly moved into a big house. She aroused people's suspicion. Eventually, the police were onto them. In order not to leave any evidence, Mary and her companions decided to destroy the money. But there was so much money that they didn't finish destroying the money until the police came to arrest them. Only Mary managed to escape. She paid for the best lawyer. The lawyer knew that the bank president would not let the matter be exposed or he would be fired and the bank surveillance cameras didn't catch them stealing the money. The president dropped the charges so he wouldn't be held liable. The police confiscated all of their property. They were not taken to jail. They regained their freedom. But the story doesn't end there. Eight months later, Mary gathered her sisters. She had known this would happen and secretly hid some of the money. It wasn't as much as before, but it was enough to cover their living expenses for the future. Although this money is easy to obtain, they have to live nervously every day. Even though they have money, they can live the life they want to live. Each of us should make money by legal means and not touching the law. This is the end of this movie. Thank you for watching. The movie is called Mad Money. See you next time.